Whoops. Yeah, and thing. you know, speaking uh, of the uh, of the bizarre sexual fantasies of our top trolls. Yes. How do you feel about moving on to? Oh yeah. Oh, absolutely. I, I've been. Do we save that? Do we want? No, to no. Let's let's, let's 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 do it right, right. now. Okay. So, um, I'm not. Sh I, I, I there is an individual called Pekka Kalyanimi, um, who is a um, prior to the you, the war in Ukraine was completely unknown, but he's emerged as a quote unquote disinformation expert, and he's been quoted by like the Washington Post and stuff as this independent expert. Um, he his whole shtick is going after people the Ukrainian government doesn't like. Yeah and exposing embarrassing personal secrets about them doxing uh anonymous users um and whatnot he's he's good with google yeah <laughs> yeah and so many of his threads are just like wikipedia you just up the first page of google yeah yeah you know? but it's just like he he has zero credibility outside a very loud but quite small like internet minority yeah. and anyway um he has gotten a taste of his own medicine in the past few weeks there have been two uh twitter threads which have exposed his background and the fact that contrary to his claims he has absolutely no experience whatsoever in um so uh, like he claims to be this social media expert who's done who's been researching the dark side of social media for years this is a total lie um it's a it can, can, uh, he is someone who has spent most of his life doing um bouncing from university degree to university degree and working on nothing with any relevance whatsoever to uh russia um the first thread was posted by a, a Twitter account called Wagner's Family, so make yeah, it that what yeah. you will. But it, it, it dug up all of these comments he'd made, um, which, in it, so like 10 years ago, he was talking about how he was a huge fan of Vladimir Putin, and then now he's, you know, fast forward to today, and he's going after anyone who who says anything remotely positive about Putin. Um, he also en engaged in all sorts of bizarre edgelord behavior like posting anti-semitic quote-unquote jokes boasting about how he how he'd masturbated in a concentration camp museum toilet uh and so he actually managed to firefight this quite effectively stating that well um you know this is these are comments that i made as a quote-unquote young entrepreneur a 30 something um he was older than i am now yeah when he was doing this stuff he wasn't you know 14 when it could be just about right. excuses for and he also complained about the fact that um personal information was published about him and this is a classic russian intimidation tactic uh, this is someone who has posted the divorce papers of people he doesn't like um made all sorts of comments about people's family lives and personal lives um which are just straight up nasty um so a second t thread was posted this week um in which um it, it, it's been revealed that he used to run porn sites um which solicited an uh content uh that was basically legal uh, that was like he he ran a, a literotica site which encouraged people to submit f kind of fa sex fantasy stories um about sex with underage boys and girls and non-consensual sex and all sorts of other um uh like you know, re re repulsive stuff um he's now trying to post through it yeah uh it, it... has he acknowledged uh no yeah. no he hasn't he hasn't so this is this is the site he ran with tags like teenage boy 13 through 18 yeah teenage girl 13 through 18 non-consensual non-consensual sex many men with one man many women with one man teenage girls 15 13 and 18 um yeah very very disgusting things and and yeah this guy has made a name for himself um by uh as a so-called disinformation expert um, yeah it's quite it's quite it's basically quite clear that he he um there is an a pretty amazing video where he effectively snitches on himself but like he claims to be working with this team of experts called the unintelligence agency which which docks his the enemies of ukraine it's quite clear that actually he's just being fed stuff by them he doesn't actually do any work himself yeah. and there is this very interesting video um if you could just line it up for like 
uh, where, where are we? he is um, uh, at d d d 54 seconds in, he is very oh, clear. Which video? Which link? Of, of the, oh, the one you're on. Yeah, this one. This okay. one, where I've, I've highlighted it. Yeah. Yeah? No, no, no. The still. One, but no, no, no. The, the part at 54. Above. Just above it. Yeah. So if we... Just give me a moment. Why is this... Here we go. Yeah. So if you if you skip to, to 54 seconds in... Counts? So that I'm, I'm the, I, I have a team, or, or yeah, just, I'm yeah, part of a like, team, I don't have a team, uh, called the um, Intelligence Agency, where we kind of do these um, uh, investigations. So there are very capable people there. Uh, I'm more of a, like the megaphone. Mm -hmm. I put the information out there and hopefully uh, it gets noticed. Uh, sometimes it does, some, often it does. Mm -hmm. So uh, for example, yeah so there yeah. there is there he goes There's, yeah but i mean if you yeah if you look at the the, the stills on his face he he's, he states yes i have a team and then very quickly corrects himself saying i am i don't i don't have a team i'm part of a team um if you look at his facial expressions and body language he's very 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 clearly lying yeah um there is a large number of um mainstream uh kind of ukrainian ultras who have endorsed his work um it, 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 yeah it, he's it, he's rode the nafo wave and, yeah you know it's interesting to me that he's got a history of you know um anti-semitic jokes because uh camille dashevsky the founder of nafo mm. uh has the same that was um it was unfortunate for me um i was working on an article about him when moss robson uh made his thread and, and kind of beat me to the scoop um good on him moss does excellent work yeah um but yeah, a long history of you know Anne Frank jokes, uh, Hitler Hitler jokes, that kind of thing. Yeah, um, mock mocking Ethiopians. And yeah, all that stuff, and it's just like yeah, that the, the, the it, it's it's quite clear that he was chosen as the SA kind of figurehead for like what's effectively like a Ukrainian black propaganda operation. Um, it, it, there was a NAFO conference at a NATO summit where all of these losers who post um, 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 under pseudonyms yeah. on Twitter like got together and, and, and patted each other on the back and you know, mocked uh, Russians, Russian holidaymakers who were died in, in shark attacks and yeah. stuff. And he, the, the Pekka was the kind of central attraction of this yeah. and got lots of loud cheers for his quote unquote Vatnik busting and you know, that's who he is. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. uh, and it's in, it's interesting that yes that there is um and I've reported on this from Min Press but there is a there an absolutely wild NATO report that was published in November last year which effectively called for NATO to create a online harassment battalion to target people who don't tow NATO's line um and they um, endorsed like doxing cyber bullying stalking and there is this hilarious they have your tweets in there too. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm 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 listed in this in this in this report um the author is this guy Keir giles i'm strongly suspect he's mi6 who or, i mean he at least has a background as a british ministry of defense attache um and uh he has promoted a parody a parody account of me um which has posted anti-semitic content and mock the victims of sexual abuse um because it's, it's just you know richly hilarious yeah. um, and it's i mean this is like probably run by nato yeah. it's quite it's, it's quite extraordinary um the report notes that keir giles is a failed stand-up comedian um <laughs> which i think says you know um, it's unsurprising somehow yeah. but yeah the the, the 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 report's worth reading in full you know just read my investigation on it because the, it, it it is they are effectively stating that the entire purpose of this is to malign Russia, promote Ukrainian heroism and ho highlight Russian embarrassment and failure, which yeah. was the key media thrust for the first year of this. Yeah. And that has the obvious um, uh, welcome upshot of being able to keep the proxy war grinding on because, hey, R Russia's really incompetent and useless and they're going to collapse any minute now as long as it's just this, just this next shipment of weapons right. and then it's going to push them over the top. Yeah. Um, and so... 
Well, yeah. it's, 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 I mean, it's funny how they take these like failed figures. So like Camille Dushevsky, the founder yes. of NAFO, uh, was a failed video game reviewer and, uh, cr and, and failed, that's, that's failed criminologist that's as well. Um, he, you know, Pekka uh, ran a failed child, child porn, porn yeah. you know, fanfic website. Um, it's it's like MK Ultra style targeting, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's just I mean, it's 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 interesting as well because, funnily enough, Keir Giles is a very big, big proponent of this, and I think this is something that Pekka has himself claimed that, like, oh well, Russia specifically targets people who are who are um, uh, professional sexual social failures and outcasts yeah. and whatnot. And it's like no, it's, I mean, it's abundantly clear that this is who the British and the Ukrainians and the US go after. It's the same with the Elliot Higgins, you know, our, yeah. our dear Bellingcat friend, who like, w there are interviews where he can't even remember what he failed to study at college. Yeah. And he was working as an administrator at a ladies lingerie firm. Right. Just this kind of stay at home dad. Yeah. Like, and then he got noticed by what he was doing blogging um was was noticed by cia and mp6 people and they were yeah. like well this is a really useful way of getting information out into the public domain yeah um and he was promoted on 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 that basis yeah they decided they need their own uh wikileaks oh yeah you know? absolutely um, like it, it's, it, it's 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 interesting as well because I think that, well, yeah, I mean, funnily enough, Pecker has gone after Julian Assange and claimed that he's this tool of the Kremlin and all this other, right. all this other rubbish. Naturally. But it's like, but it, I mean, so so have Bellingcat too. And they were like mocking his appearance when he was dragged out of the the, yeah. the Ecuadorian embassy um, after being effectively arbitrarily detained there for many years um, due to bogus charges um against him and that the, but yeah that like it's it's really it's really interesting how uh, most of these quote unquote OSINT accounts yeah. have when ukraine's counteroffensive failed miserably like at the end of last year they suddenly announced that oh we're shuttering yeah or they've been completely silent on right. the um on israel's genocide in gaza because well that's not their focus not actually what they're meant to be doing right right no well you know i always had a problem with these osin people as a, as an investigative journalist that uses open source information primarily for for my work um, they like to like add this like mystique to it where it's like we're doing some kind of tech wizardry that like enables these findings and um, you can't question it because it's open source um, mm -hmm. and we have like, you know, these maps and these arrows on the maps, and you know, um, yeah. but it's really it's really uh, they, they, they try to make it sound a lot more complicated than it actually is yeah. um, in order to give themselves like an air of, of, of authority. Yeah. I mean, it's all, but it's also, it's also as well as that, like there is this like, really worrying modern trend of, um, I mean, this because newspaper uh, media outlet budgets have been absolutely slashed. Yeah. That they're, the, the, so they don't usually have foreign reporters. They rely heavily, the organizations rely heavily on Bellingcat and um who aren't where they're investigating right just for like reading tea leaves and it's just like well we know we can know what's happening in this country because these people who aren't there yeah using google maps yeah um and we should we should trust them and that, that's a, yeah. a repeat for, uh, funnily enough there was a friend of mine um Tarek Haddad who wanted to report on OPC the OPCW leaks yeah. so that the, the April 2018 chemical weapons attack in Duma was a opposition staged false flag yeah um and then his editor literally said to him well Bellingcat debunked it so that's good enough for right him. yeah and it's like this is exactly Over their yeah. their purpose yeah exactly um and it's yeah. it's, it's quite and then, interesting and then look at what open source information told us about buka you have five miles outside videos of war crimes committed by the Georgian National Legion which you know was the uh the reason that NAFO was started was to raise money for them because they were viewed as uh criminals and mercenaries in the words of Camille Dushevsky and he thought that that would preclude them from getting weapons yeah. yeah so uh that's why they they fundraise for the Georgian Legion who is documented committing war crimes mm. uh just like five miles away and openly boast openly boast about it as well yeah like the, the their um their founder has explicitly stated like, like we will not be taking any Russian or or you know church and prisoners which yeah it's obviously the we tie case. their hands yeah. and their legs sometimes yeah yeah, yeah and, like, and, and 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 kill them and it, it's quite interesting as well because after that video that, that they posted of them just like murdering like a bunch of Russian prisoners of war yeah 
um just 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 executing them that they were like they 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 would splash us all over their social media like openly yeah and then when like the response was well there needs to be an investigation to war crimes they were just like oh no this is nothing to do with us yeah actually right so for all of their their, their tough talk well um, and, and you know i've i've published two audio testimonies of former members of the georgian legion uh one admitting that there were two men who passed through a checkpoint in the east of Ukraine um, and were had black bags put over their head, brought to a basement and had their throats slit um, just because they blew through the, the checkpoint, um, accused mm. of being Russian spies. Another testimony that said that they founded a suspected Russian spy who was 18 years old. So they um, they slit his uh, Achilles heel and made him swim across the uh, Dnipro River while they took practice shots at him. Um, and then, of course, one of the most infamous former members of the Georgian Legion has just been extradited back to the United yeah. States, Craig Lang. Um, Your dear friend. My, my dear friend. His last... He followed you on Twitter. Yeah, and his last tweet before he got nabbed was to me. Def really? Defending Suge Knight. Oh, well, of, course, <laughs> of, course, of course. like and um, yeah, yeah, fan of P. Diddy, I think. But it's like, yeah, yeah I mean, what, what did Lang do that he, like, injected yeah. some woman with a Russian woman well, with adrenaline? What hasn't he done is the better question. Yeah. He tried to kill his girlfriend uh, by setting up landmines outside of her apartment. Uh, he killed a... He murdered a couple in Florida um he multiple war crimes in in donbass including yeah injecting a girl with adrenaline and drowning her while she uh so she wouldn't pass out while she was killed um he was armed by the colombian police to overthrow the venezuelan government um there's like international crime spree yeah worth a documentary you have to like wonder like who he pissed off to get extradited yeah it's just like well because his profile is very much like cia asset right? yeah oh yeah 100 percent. um but yeah i mean there's articles in uh in in the mainstream media about how he is considered a hero in ukraine and guess who's defending him in that article mamuka mamalashvili <laughs> so of course pink bmw owner apparently. right yeah but the but yeah the, i think that it's i think there's probably actually going to be a lot more of this like as the as the proxy war winds down i mean i think like it, there are in in there was this um this polish british girl who she went to ukraine to work as a medic and then it, she was found dead in her bed in uh on december the 25th last year yeah and the, the Ukrainian ultra is very quick to say, oh, well, you know, there's nothing suspicious about it. It's like, yeah, you know, the, the, a young, physically fit woman just like just dying out of nowhere. Yeah. But like mere days before she had basically blown the lid on how Ukrainian soldiers and, and indeed mercs like in Ukraine, when people get killed, their salaries are stolen, their property is stolen, their cars are stolen. Mm -hmm. And she openly talks about this. And then and you've got, you do have to wonder whether there are people who know too much who one way or another are going to be taken out oh yeah oh yeah and i think uh Zelensky could be at the top of that list oh yeah absolutely you know? absolutely well, i mean i think that you know, we've discussed it before like Navalny Nav Nav is quite quite clearly like an example of someone who knew too much who yeah wasn't getting out of prison anytime soon right and would have every reason to spill yeah. secrets yeah. that the cia and mi6 don't want in the public domain yeah. hey everyone um if you enjoyed this video or or any of our other content uh please give us a follow on twitter or subscribe to us on youtube it'll help us beat the algorithm oligarchs Thank you.